bilirubin actually is a product of uh, RBC breakdown where RBC once that gets break broken then it gets converted into hemoglobin so out of hemoglobin the heme fraction gets converted into biliverdine and this biliverdine then goes into the liver along with albumin and gets conjugated and form a conjugated bilirubin so this is basically a cycle of bilirubin production which happens in the liver because of dying or breakdown of a rbc after 120 days of natural life cycle of an rbc so after 120 days period rbc naturally break down in your body releases hemoglobin hemoglobin is into two fraction heme and globin heme gets divided uh, broken down into bilirubin gets gets transported into the liver through the albumin and then in the liver that helps there the process of conjugation happens with the help of enzyme and we have a conjugated bilirubin or direct bilirubin. So whenever we are seeing a liver function test we see two fractions one is a total bilirubin and the second fraction is direct and indirect fraction which actually combinedly gives you total bilirubin value. So why it is important to know bilirubin because there are certain disorders where the indirect bilirubin gets elevated and there are certain disorders where direct bilirubin gets elevated. Now direct bilirubin is water soluble so it gets excreted through the urine. So whenever you do a urine examination in a patient of jaundice if you see a bilirubin in the urine so that means that the conjugated bilirubin is more produced and it is getting it excreted through the urine. Indirect bilirubin never gets excreted through the urine because it is water insoluble.